Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Thoughts of a Rambling Mind. As you know, I only make videos when I find something intriguing, and of course, I'm intrigued. Alright, so we're going to break down all the mistakes that uh, Ryan Garcia made in approaching Tank Davis. This is going to be an episode when social media meets the real world. Funny as shit. I actually did see, uh, I seen Tank in the club. I did see him in the club. Alright, so you seen your, your opposition. You was on point. You seen him before he seen you. You got the upper hand. What you going to do now? Uh, he definitely, uh, definitely, uh, he's a tough guy. He's a tough guy. See, now you're taking sarcastic shots at his character. Uh, it sounds like it's based on what happened on the events that night. It's not a good foreshadow. Uh, he was very, uh, very low key in his hoodie. Okay, so you gotta peek the scenario. He's low key in his hoodie. So it's either he's trying not to be on some famous business shit or he wants some real grimy time. So just be aware of what you're approaching. And uh, I went up to his table. Okay, so now you're approaching. Okay, so um, I hope you're ready for whatever happens on the approach because you can't uh, determine a person's reaction. You understand? Whatever you bring to them, they have the option to bring it back however they want. You know, because you chose how you wanted to bring it to them. With me and this guy. Oh, you bringing your homie with you? Oh, you see now this just, this turned it up a little bit. So you didn't come by yourself. Oh, you came with somebody else. Okay, okay, we're gonna see where this goes. And we said, uh, yo, are we gonna make this fight happen? You see? See, this is where you messed stuff at. You just said he was low key Long with the game. hoodie on. Is and now you're trying to make a scene here. up on some business. You see? The gift you don't even know what he on. First of all, he either wants some not fame shit or he wants some grimy time. Either way, he don't want you up in his face making a scene about no boxing match. And uh, I guess he got offended by that. Got all worked up. Uh, I don't like the way this is going. You already playing victim. I guess he got offended by that and got all worked up. Listen, brother. You understand what you did but anyway you surprised he's worked up what you gonna do now because now he's upset and i was like yo what you on about man it's like ain't no respect here. all right so you asking him what the issue is but you said ain't no respect here that means you feel disrespected you see first rule in the streets it's not about what the other man intends it's about what you feel on the inside if you feel disrespected you need to address that but you question it. we're gonna act like these ain't the streets you know what i'm saying we we are in, in a professional world we all are businessmen so you ask them if there's no respect here okay and then he responds with nah there ain't no respect here well it seems like we got our answer ain't no respect here so um uh, now you felt disrespected, and he confirmed that he don't respect you. So, uh, what's up? I said, oh, it's like that. Okay, it's like that, okay, and then... Oh, it's like that? Oh, it's like that? See, you, you, you gotta stop copying hood talk if you're not a hood guy. See, you don't even know what you're saying in confrontation. When a man has disrespected you, stated he don't respect you, and you begin with the always oh, like that, it means the next move is action. And that's what you initiate when you start saying always oh, like that, always oh, like that. And then he tried to, he did, he, he grabbed my chain. What you talking about? 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 What he, he don't just tell you he don't respect you, but he show you he don't respect you. And what in our culture is the ultimate sign of disrespect. He tried to take your damn head off. Your chain, your chain. Is the music what you do next? But I wasn't worried about it. What you talking about, Willis? You know, there's so many security cards there. What you talking about, Willis? First rule in jewelry. It's if you can't protect it, don't buy it. 
That's club security. That's not your security. How is wrong with this guy? I knew he wasn't gonna take my chain. What you doing, mom? Do anything really? What you talking about, bro? Just wanted to seem tough. Now you see how perspective is a bitch. This is about the dumbest thing you done said. He just wanted to seem tough. No. He just wanted to show you and everybody around you that you were soft. See, what he did was tough. And what you did was soft. So I said, wow, it's like that, huh? You still asking questions. He even got physical with you. It's no more talking to him. See, you need to get back on the computer because this is not safe for you. You risking your life out here. You confronting wild animals like this. What is wrong with you? You still asking questions. And then he responded again, but yeah, it's like that. You know what Suge said? <laughs> well, I think as a man, anything you say once, you gotta be able to say twice. I'ma respect you. And then he let go. Well, he had to let go. He had to let go. Why? He had to let go. But what? Did you spend too much on your chain? And was the link too strong? Is that why you had to let it go? Good investment, brother, good investment. And then I said, you know what, I'm gonna... And then I said something to him. She knows what I said. Then you said something to him? She know... So you one of them dudes that get smacked and then get to talking shit after. You one of them dudes that get beat the fuck up and then get back up and get to talking shit after. She knows, like you gonna, you gonna assault this man's manhood. And then I said, I'm gonna fuck you up, and I left. After he done punch you. Okay. I'm not gonna repeat it on, on, on a lot, but just know, uh, you know, in the fight, that's where it really happens. Outside the ring, you can act tough all you want. So wait, isn't that the reason you went over there? To approach that man? Show him how tough you are, that you wanna have a fight in the ring? promote that fight, huh? Drum up some drama in between y'all? Yeah, I consider this a mission failed. Inside the ring, it all changes. You know, that might be true. But nobody believes you, buddy. I don't wanna watch you on Bamba Cloud no more. I put my trust in him and I wanna lose him. Anyway, these are my thoughts of a rambling mind. Like, share, subscribe. Please drop a comment down in the comment section. I read and respond to all comments. And I'm out.